Uh, pleasure. I, I'm really keen to understand what is going through your heads. Um, so I don't know if you're aware, David, but um, we're in a climate emergency. We saw 40 degree heat this year. And there's a report out a couple of days ago that farmers are worried that if the drought that we're in right now continues, um, next year the crops will be severely affected. And this is happening worldwide. This is really a threat to our lives. Um, to our food systems, to our water systems, um, and to the ability for us to survive, you know, the coming decades. So it's a really serious situation. And obviously this government is showing itself to be completely incompetent. And these years are really crucial. And that is why we are saying we cannot have any new fossil fuel licenses. And if the government won't listen to the UN, the International Energy Agency, if they won't even listen to their own advisors, like their own scientific advisors, and to their own climate change committee, if they've been found guilty in the high court, who is holding them to account? And that is why ordinary citizens are having to step up and say, we're not going to take this anymore. Listen, li listen let, me just, let me just pause you for a minute. I admire the fact that you feel so passionately about this, but and, and I understand, and the government... I think can, everybody should be feeling let, passionate. Let, let me just finish. You're not worried about let, let me just finish. So the fact is that the government committed to net zero at 2050. I'm just wondering whether you are aware that there is a problem in terms of the energy crisis in this country, the real hardship that is hurting working families in this country. We're seeing energy bills spiral to 6,000. I've seen people who cannot afford to eat, mm -hmm. people who cannot afford to put their heating on. When you look at the way that we're producing our energy right now, nearly 70%, 70% of our energy this morning is coming from fossil fuels and the renewables make up only 11%. It is pie in the sky thinking to think renewables can fill that gap. Um, so, David, there's, there's a couple of there was a couple of points there. I think the first is obviously we are in a cost of living crisis, and that is caused by the fact we have a privatised energy system where companies are making 170 billion pounds of excess profit over two years from UK citizens. This is obscene. We need to nationalise the energy system, and at the moment, renewables are nine times cheaper than oil and gas. And also, they don't deliver the energy gas. we need. But they will if we invest in them. And also, there's a really important point that investing in new oil and gas will not drive down the prices. The government have even admitted that because they don't come online for 10, 20 years. So they do nothing to solve this current cost of living crisis. And also, that, that, that the, simply, the other, hang on a minute, that, 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 that this, simply please, isn't true. That's one sim more point, David. I'm please, sorry to one more point. I'm sorry to stop because you. The, the thing is that um, renewables are also so much quicker. I'm right. sorry, that, um, that is our turn. Wind energy take even from six to six weeks to six months to build the biggest um, solar farm and the biggest wind farm. So that could be doing a massive amount to bring down bills, insulating our homes so we don't literally just let the heat, you know, like my, my nan used to say, don't heat the sky. I you agree. Know, it makes I... sense. So we, why aren't we doing a massive insulation program? Why aren't we switching to renewables, we... which is massively cheaper? This would help solve the cost of living crisis and the climate crisis. We need to be protecting ourselves. We need to be protecting our families. And this is the way to do it. it, it um, let me just interject here. And with the greatest of respect, just in terms of where we're going, what you said is incorrect. In fact, it's we are sitting incorrect. on... Let me just explain. We are sitting on one to two trillion pounds of gas. And I believe passionately we should frack in the short term, get that gas out, get the ga energy prices down and look after people. Let me just move on to one other point. I'm a doctor. I watched with horror as your lot blocked sick children getting to hospital in the back of an ambulance. I think that is abhorrent behaviour. So we have a blue light policy and we do let ambulances through. It, like if people were delayed for a few minutes, that, like that is terrible. You know, when, when we apologise for any disruption to to the emergency services, we do have a blue light policy. But the, the fact of the matter is, we need to be looking at where we're directing that outrage. The amount of the defunding of the NHS, the massive wait times for ambulances. That's, that's not. That's not true. Government. That's not true. It that, is true. It it's is not true. true. The NHS it's got up. Three hundred and thirty thousand get... excess deaths due to these austerity policies by the Conservative that, government. I'm sorry. They have cut our service to the bone. Nurses are leaving in their droves. That is I mean, true. That is really what we need to be focusing our. our if you'd let me on. just correct your facts, 176 billion was spent on the NHS last year, and another 36 billion are you on about COVID. Real terms, real terms no, I'm talking. 
talking about the fact that the NHS is actually adequately funded. The money doesn't hit the floor and doesn't hit the patient. It doesn't adequately funded. I'm sure your your viewers will know it's not adequately that funded. Is sim and it is simply problem. not true. Anyway, but this is this is not what we're here to talk about. Do you think it's... it's the, let the, me just ask you. Is it acceptable that you destroy the lives of people who are trying to get to work across the Dartford Bridge, trying to earn a living, trying to put food on the table? You think it's OK, do you, to stick yourselves in the tunnel and up a bridge? Do you think it's OK? Do you think it's OK that it was 40 degree heat in London this year? What's it going to be like next year? 45 degrees? What's it going to be like in 10 years? 50 degrees? This is the problem that we're facing right now. This is the problem we're facing. It's so Let, serious. Let's look at a globe. It's so serious. And your viewers know it. And the majority of the British public are really worried. And the majority of the British public know that our government is not doing enough. They're, in fact, doing the opposite. Well, let me just tell you what our viewers are saying. The of the fire by investing more in fossil Very fuels, which we know... Are very quickly are heating the planet and, t and they're going to be they're going to cause mass suffering very this quickly very this quickly is, people don't do this action unless there's a problem the problem is not that we're doing the action the problem is is that very quickly if i may thing. just interject the united kingdom is a very small part of this world perhaps you should concentrate your efforts in china where they're building another tw 200 coal-fired power stations i'll tell you what our viewers are saying why does the traffic stop just because idiots find it's okay to climb on a bridge, hose them down. We cannot be held hostage by these morons. That is what people are saying. They're saying these people are lunatics and people need to be very careful. I am deeply worried that people are going to take the law into their own hands and I think some of you may get hurt. Well, we're non we're non-violent and that's a really important principle. You know, we don't want to be uh, you know, holding people, you know, hostage, anything like that. Obviously, we're completely non-violent, and you've seen that. We just sit and we we take whatever is it, people want to throw at us. Um, it's really important, and we are willing to be arrested when it. People need to really think, why are we willing to do that? Like, I used to work in a library. Why am I doing this? It's because it's really serious. It's because I'm really worried about the people in this country and the people around the world. You know, and if, if people uh, are angry at us and they throw that at us, we'll just take it. If the Home Secretary wants to throw us in prison rather than Emma, do the obvious moral thing, then they can do that. But the fact that... Emma, I have, I have to stop you. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for coming on.